This is a video tutorial on how to format an MLA Works Cited page for a research paper. Here is an example of a Works Cited page. You will see there is a header with the student's last name and page number. This header should be included in all pages of your research paper. Now I will show you the steps it takes to make a Works Cited page. First, you will have to change some settings in the Microsoft Word document. Change the font to Times New Roman and the font size to 12. Then, you will have to make some changes in the Paragraph Tool settings. Change the indentation to Hanging in the drop-down box. Then, the spacing in the After field from 8 point to 0 point and line spacing to Double and click OK. Finally, write the words Works Cited at the top. It needs to be center justified and it should not be bolded, underlined, or italicized. Now I will copy and paste some MLA citations from various BC library databases. If I were to just paste the citation into the Word document by hitting Control v you might get some issues with the text format. In order to prevent these formatting issues, do a right-click and under Paste Options select Merge Formatting. I am going to do the same from other library databases. When all of the citations have been entered, put the citations in alphabetical order based on the author's last name or the first word of the citation. Finally, check the Works Cited page and fix any issues you might see. Fix URLs that are not spaced properly so they flow nicely to the next line. And take away any hyperlinks. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to contact your BC librarians. Good luck!